Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts and welcome. And what I want to do today with you guys is show you how I make braided hair for my dolls. And what this is, is my Junky Grungy Grammy series. So if you haven't got caught up, I'll make sure to put on the end screen for you guys. So you can come check it out and get caught up how I make these dolls. And I want to make sure to let you know in the bottom description box there is a pattern so you can come make your own doll and this is Ruthie and this is Agatha and I try to make sure to have the links down below for my Etsy shop for the ones that are available and if these guys aren't there then they're not available in my shop anymore but I try to update it uh, every time I sell one just so you guys aren't going to my shop and you know going down there and there's no link so I try to keep up with that so the newest one will be below in the description box that you guys can come check out. This is Penelope. As you can see, she has no hair. So we are going to be giving her some braided hair today. And I think it's going to be super fun. It's really easy. And I will show you everything that I use to get her going. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested on how to make these cute little buns on the top of their heads or a beehive do is another name for it, which is kind of fun. Uh, and then I add just a little trinket on top so you can see they're just a little different. I put a little, uh, a little tie, a little ribbon bow around her bun there and the other one has a little trinket on top. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested on how I did this hair style. So the, for the braided hair, I use yarn. And this is Homespun Lion Brand yarn. And it works great. I love it how it's really soft and it's got the fun little kinks in it and stuff. But you can use any kind of yarn that you have on hand. And it works great. So I just make sure, and I think it's just a polyester is what I'm saying here. It's just like a polyester yarn. But like I said, any kind of heart, like Red Heart, that's a good one. Uh, any kind of just yarn you have. This one I probably got it like, uh, I've had it forever, but it, you can get them like at Walmart or places like that. And I'm going to use some polyester thread and just a needle. And um, I'm going to use about 15 inch strands is what I'm going to measure out and I'm going to do six of them this, this is just for the front part of the hair where we do the braids and then that's a fabric fix glue is what I'll be adding to it when we glue down the back of the hair but for the front of the hair when we do the braids I'm just going to sew that on to the top of the head so right here I'm just kind of lining it up to see how long I do want the braids to hang and keep in mind when you do braid them, they do shorten up a little bit. And like I said, they're 15 inches, so I'm just measuring it out right here, about 15 inches. But it could be different on whatever doll that you're doing. Or if you're using my pattern, uh, 15 inches seems to be a good length that if you want them longer. But you could do short little braids, um, anything like that. So I'm just cutting them to size. And like I said, I'm using six strands and uh, getting those ready. So I place the yarn just on top of the head there and just kind of see the length and see how I want it. And um, it's just so much fun just once you put the yarn on or the thread or whatever you're using, uh, it just brings them to life, like their personality comes out. Uh, so I just got my thread here and I wanna make sure to just go through the back of the head and then come out through the front and just do a big just whip stitch all around all the strands, just like that. So just keep going, make sure you're going right through the actual fabric of the head and on the other, on, from the back to the front. And then I'm just whip stitching it around and giving it just a secure, just sew, just sewing it down and making sure that it's all secure. So 
So I'm just taking my awl, or you could take the needle or anything, and just kind of fluff up the hair if you would like. It just kind of gives it just a little bit more personality, a little more height on the hair. Uh, so I just kind of just do that just to fluff it up. And I just keep going all the way around and tie it off in the back. And now we're going to just secure it down and do the next step. So what I have here is just some ends of fabric that I've pretty much ripped and just made little strips to tie at the uh, end of the braids. So I'm dividing these into three sections like you would when you're braiding hair. And I'm just doing two strands of yarn for each section and just doing a braid all the way down as far as I want to. So I got that side all done and tied with a cute little uh, fabric scrap at the end and I'm doing the exact same thing to the other side. What I like to do with the ends of the hair is uh, go ahead and take it and fluff it up with your fingers. It's so much fun. It just makes the hair all nice and fluffy at the end. So I'm just trimming it up to size. And then I uh, take it and just kind of fluff it with my fingers like that, just to make it all fluffy. And it looks really cute. So do that if you want to. Yeah, I think it's really a fun look to it. So for the back of the hair, I just take all my little extra strand pieces of the yarn and fluff it out and get it all nice and fluffy. And even the little scrap ends that you cut off the ends of the braids. And just get as much as you want to cover up the back of the head. Take your glue, glue everything down. Just do a good glue and then just stick it down. Make sure you get all the little bald spots and just keep pressing it and putting it into the places that looks good to you and I just go right to the bottom of the nap of the neck and all the way up to the top and just keep kind of popping a little bit of glue here and there just to make sure that you're getting all the little spots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational and if you could please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you can see my next video when I post it like comment and share and let's grow together and keep on crafting.